in their all set and uh, away they go. Master Forrester slightly slow away, drops in at the back end. Simply Majestic on the right hand side here began well with Danton from Santon down the centre in the orange colours. Followed next by Stalwart, then Wild at War and Master Foresters behind that, about eight lengths off the leader as they make their way towards the 600 and Simply Majestic is in front by a half a length in second is Danton from Santon. They followed by Stalwart in the pink cap has got four lengths to make up, then Wild at War and Master Forrester. They come down to the last 300 metres and Simply Majestic is still the leader from Danton from Santon. Then comes Stalwart, Wild at Wars further back in the field. It's still Simply Majestic with 200 metres to go, but Danton from Santon is right there down the inside. It's Simply Majestic and Danton from Santon running all over the place though, but Danton from Santon got to the front and won it. Second place, Simply Majestic. Then came Wild at War, followed by Stalwart and Master Forrester. Just take a look at that, he lugs slightly outwards and Simply Majestic slightly inwards, but there we see Danton from Santa now going way, way to the left-hand side there, but he manages to stay on, does Danton from Santa, the son of Willow Magic, owned by Messrs. Jared LaHood, A. LaHood, DR and K. A. LaHood, GG Anthony, Larry Poggia, Art Polico, Cliff Saman and Craig Zochby. Your numbers are 2, 1, 8 and 7. Well, it's a winning starter for striker Stradham. He's got the three rides carded on the afternoon. He's got one in the bag. And uh, needless to say, we can never discount his chances on the remaining two. That is in races at three and at race number nine. Hawk Bill being the three-year-old in race nine. That is Santa Claus number two. Teaming up with old friend and uh, colleague. And now a trainer, leading trainer, Lucky Udalakas. But we'll get to that later. Teaming up with Sean, old uh, buddy and uh, old uh, cohort, so to speak, in your riding career. Take us through this ride because as well, as soon as you see seemed to go past your rival, and then it uh, hung badly into the uh, inside rail. Yeah, I just thank you to Sean once again. Uh, I just saw my name on it, and I was like, oh, riding another baby, you know, you don't know what they can get up to. When I looked at the form, it looked quite, quite good, but you don't know how good the other ju juveniles are. And uh, But this is quite a nice horse. He's a nice, stocky sort. I think he can come in a lot. Um, yes, in the race, uh, I, I was close to Gavin, and... Uh, so we started moving apart, and I thought I'd better take him towards Gavin, give him that company. And as I felt I needed to give him a, a smack or two, he normally horses duck away from the whip. He ducked towards the whip, so he put me completely off balance, and I thought, whoa, whoa I must just hold on. But luckily, it was good enough to still maintain that run. So, okay, I'll give him another smack or two, then he'll straighten up. And again, he went quite opposite of what we normally expect. So it was a little bit hair raising at the end, but uh, I'm just glad that he was good enough to, to beat the field. So there's a, uh, if it hadn't been for that greenness and uh, hanging in to the whip, uh, you could have possibly won with a bit more comfort. Yeah, definitely. Right, so as far as the remainder of the afternoon, we can never discount you. I think perform in that sort of a field could pop up and uh, definitely in race nine, how do you feel about your chances there? Uh, not very good. Uh, his form's very weak, or her form's very weak. Um, it is a weak field, but uh, um, not handicapped to run a place at all. So, runs the place, I'll be very happy, obviously, if I win, to be a cherry on top. Indeed, and then that is in uh, race number three. Yes. And as far as race nine is concerned, a uh, lucky source? Yeah, Hawkbill must have a chance. Uh, he's, he's got half a length to find on. Uh, you can't hurry love. Um, so, if you have a run of a race and we improve half a length, we should dead heat. Hopefully, I can improve three quarter lengths. Maybe you'll pick up a chance right somewhere along the line, not wishing any uh, casting any aspersions on anybody. But if we don't talk to you until later on, thank you for this. I'm sitting in the jock room. I'm, I'm ready to pick up now. <laughs> thank you very much, Striker. Right, we're going to be talking to the man, Sean Terry, as was the case on Thursday, winning the first. Thank you for joining us, Sean. It's uh, number two, Dan from Santon, uh, confirming that very good run first time out. Yes, he's come on a lot. He's, he's still hung a little bit from the stick today, but uh, certainly has learned a lot from his debut. Um, actually, reminds me a lot of Willow Magic. And, um, yeah, it's very nice to have such a, a big group of young, enthusiastic guys to uh, be part of the syndicate. A big thank you for Aidan to 
uh, for putting it together and obviously Danton bringing in most of the guys. I'm, I'm going to leave it to Danton to mention all the names. Um, yeah, lovely start to the day and uh, let's hope they run well all day long. Yes, just about just highlighting on a couple that you've uh, retained the blinkers on uh, Africa House in the uh, next race that is coming back in distance. What sort of a run there? Yeah, it's a week later. I've got healthy respect for the favourite. I, I did train her previously. She's got plenty of ability and uh, yeah, he'll be he'll be running well, be doing his best work late. Just depends how much ground there is to make up. And uh, the syndicate seem to think that uh, Magic to 2 is ready to uh, register that fourth win from 15 outings? Uh, it's third run after a rest. Peak run. He certainly got the form, but it is a competitive race. But I'm hoping for the best. Thank you so much. We wish you well, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you as the afternoon progresses. Hope so. Thank you so much. And Mr. Terry, did see you give me a BDI there, and that was enough to sway me uh, towards your uh, horse here. Yeah, when you have Pierre on your horse, you can never doubt yourself, you know. Pierre's a master class, wrote a cracker. Um, and I just want to say well done to my dad. He's one of the best trainers with young horses. And I think um, without this huge group of boys, he wouldn't have won so well. Yeah. Um, so well done to everyone. Um, and a big thank you to our sponsors, Betway. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll speak to you guys as the afternoon progresses. Right, it is Danton from Santon, but I'm going to be calling in a lot of boys from Benoni, I do believe. <laughs> right, saw you here last Thursday. And of course, you're a very, very familiar sight on uh, race, uh, race days. And it's good to have you in the number one box. Cecil, unbelievable. I mean, this is what the game's about over the next few years, bringing youngsters into the game. Um, and I'm glad it's happening in Sean's stable at the moment. I just want to thank Sean. I want to thank all the guys at the stable. And Willow Magic, Stallion, we put it together. 1,000 meters, unbelievable as a yearling. So we've got a good season to look forward to. And uh, I just want to send out my sympathies to some of the owners that couldn't be here for Churchill that passed away the other day. Uh, Anthony and uh, Sava and most of the guys couldn't get you. And Joe, he couldn't get you. Uh, um, but uh, this is one for them. And then I'll leave it to Danton to talk about all the animals over here. From Benoni. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. My brother, thank you so much for joining us. And, uh, you know, we talk it, but uh, you guys are putting it into action, bringing young blood into the game, and it's uh, pretty, pretty evident. 100%. Right, how did you guys come together in this particular syndicate? So my father decided to name the horse Danton from Santon a few years ago. And then uh, I just said to him, well, I mean, he came up to me, he said, well, we must, I must take the horse and uh, get a group of Lebanese boys together and we must all take it over. So we said, okay, sweet, we've got about 20, well, only like 15 out here today, but there's a group of 26 of us, I think. And uh, yeah, decided to take the horse and now uh, doing well. What I'd love to see, when you guys, uh, when the horse is crossing the line, I'd love to see the boys are from the Abib stable and you guys shouting your respective horses home. I think you'd scream this grandstand out. hundred <laughs> percent. The ground was shaking a bit in the end, though, but it was, sure, what a win. Indeed. Yeah. And uh, once you get over that greenness, I think you're going to have a lot of fun. hundred percent, hundred percent. Guys, let's talk uh, to the man who gave me a bit of a warning there as well. You but come through, sir. But uh, give us uh, your feeling right now, well, leading in a winner. Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, the family's been involved in racing for ever, pretty much. Um, we love the game. Um, I can't say so much for the punting, the losing and winning side of it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'd just like to thank Aidan for giving us the opportunity. I'd like to thank Sean. He's been unbelievable. You can't get a better trainer. And this group of boys, um, we all like brothers. We love each other and we support each other. And uh, most importantly, Pierre, Great ride. Indeed. Unbelievable. Guys, just before I round off, uh, very well done to you all. Of course, uh, Benoni is a place close to my heart. <laughs> I went to, uh, I spent a month, literally 30 days in a row, I was having treatments at the oncology clinic. Beautiful place. And of course, I went to the uh, church, the Roman Catholic Church. Beautiful place. In spite of what they say of Benoni, a beautiful place. Yeah, thanks, Cecil. I uh, gave you the confidence. Indeed. And uh, firstly, thanks to Aidan and uh, Danton and Jared for inviting us in with this horse. It's uh, what a group of guys. Uh, thanks to Sean. And uh, what a group of guys we've got. It's been a dream of ours. Um, the Baroni boys, Yasebi, myself, Mitchell. Uh, shout out to uh, Nicholas and Terrell who couldn't be here. And uh, all praise be to God. And um, yeah, we can't wait to have some fun with this horse. And thanks to the rest of the guys who make part of this, uh, this syndicate. As we bid farewell, Gary and everybody is here. We will just pan in and see exactly. This is half the crowd, is it? Yeah. Or a quarter, a quarter of the crowd. <laughs> shot ya, <you>, baby. <laughs> Where have you heard that before, guys? All right, thanks very much to the syndicate and enjoy the afternoon. Thanks so much, Gary.
and I hope you get a lot of fun with this. Thank you, and of course, uh, condolences to the family of Churchill and everybody who remembers it well. Right, uh, John is here from uh, the Terry Stable as we round off our interviews, and you are representing Jack. He looked after the uh, winner, Danton from Santon. Please uh, pass on our regards, and uh, we hope that you guys are going to be here regularly. You've got the type of card that you can see you here have a few winners. Thank you. Thank you very so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right, a bit lengthy, but I think uh, that uh, joy and uh, the happiness there is infectious and it had to get everybody's blood flowing. As we now look forward to the first of uh, those exotics that the uh, bipod, and you heard from Sean, he is uh, looking forward to a decent contest and a decent run from his charge against his former charge.